hello, and welcome to a special bonus edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. So my friend Jay recently told me about a professor, a math professor on Twitter, posting about his mini math crosswords, and then uh, put him in contact with me. Um, and my friend Brian, also of Slurps Up fame, uh, s challenged me to, <laughs> to some of these ones that uh, Professor Sullivan posted on Twitter. So here I have his Twitter up, looking for a fun Sunday activity, may suggest some of my mini math crosswords. So if you go to this tweet, which is linked in the description below, there's both a link to the book, which I'll also link in the description below. Uh, and I think Jay has actually purchased it already. And also, uh, there's a place, right, he gives you a link where you can download the .puzz files or the PDF files if you'd like to solve them on paper. So I haven't looked at them yet, but I have downloaded the puzz files and I put them into Down for a Cross, um, unlisted, of course. Uh, so I thought maybe I would give them a shot at some amount of speed uh, so that Brian, if you want to compare times, we're able to compare. Uh, but also, maybe I could talk about some of the math in them. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much. <laughs> okay, let me just see what this looks like. Uh, let me full screen. This is okay. Okay, there we go. You can apply right master moves to it. That's a knot. Like invigorating autumn air. Crisp, maybe? English pop singer Dua Lipa. Blank's law in physics says that the force needs to compress. This is going to be Hook's law, I think. Apartment number on the first floor. It's going to be 1A, maybe? Uh, no. This is Tabor. Whoops. 1B? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the Euler work. Ordinal position of 7 down in the Greek alphabet. I guess it's ninth. It's going to be Iota. Nice. Neither parallel nor intersecting, that's skew. The P in 25 down. What is 25 down? Dashboard, so this is MPH, and this is gonna be per. Modify, alter, 1B. Uh, the blank, the law of large numbers? No, the something law of large numbers. <laughs> uh, I'm not a probabilist. Islamic law, Sharia. 20th century, this is Shag Shagard? No, what is it? Uh, I forget. Ch Chagall, Chagall, right? Mark Chagall. <laughs> Mathematician Chen and the father of information theory. In the space L2, 0 to 2 pi, the sequence of functions Fn has the F0 as it's this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, merge sort is divide and conquer. Sitar music. Raga? Discussion event at a conference. Panel. 20th century Austrian al algebraist Artin. Emil Artin. Dozen dozens. That's a gross, isn't it? Yeah, I guess MPG, not MPH. Trig function could be a lot of things. Buenos Aires, so I guess it's just sign. Savory sensation is umami. Go ahead, eat, dig in. French adjective meaning slack. That's used for morphism, cohomology, and topology. Uh, etal, etal. Something limit. Fashion model, don't know. Opera omnia, maybe? Certain coins. Nickels, I guess it's Claude. Have on where? It's a weak limit. Erno. Ages and then strong law. There we go. Okay, so 207 for the first one. Um, but some nice, some nice math things in this puzzle. Maybe we should take a look at. So the writer meister moves. I did know this one. It's ways that you can manipulate knots uh, and braids too. I think, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, my, I'm not a knot theorist. Uh, Right, a Meister moves. There's like three of them, I think. Basically, that uh, you take these pictures and you basically can do to these strings the kind of things that you could do in real life if they were strings, right? So this string passes under the string and then crosses it twice, right? So you could pull it straight into two strands. This loop, you could sort of pull it, just pull the string taut, right? And then uh, it would straighten out. And then this right a Meister move is you can move this string over this crossing underneath and, and push it over here. So if they were real life strings, you could do that. Those are the three Reitermeister moves. So that's good. That's that's probably th a thing that not so many folks know who are outside of math. Uh, I see this frame is not great. Let me, let me move this over a bit. Okay, there we go. Uh, Dua Lipa, I'm impressed of myself for knowing that. Hooke's law, yeah. The strong law of large numbers states that for an infinite sequence of 
IID, independently identically distributed random variables with the same expected value, the sample average converges almost surely to that expected value. Yeah, so my probability... Ah, I've Googled a lot of large numbers recently. Recently enough, anyway. The weak law... Uh, just I see the weak law just says that the average converges toward the expected value. Uh, this is uh, converges in probability versus converges almost surely, right? So this is one's like almost everywhere, and this one's like in measure or something. I don't know analysis either. I don't know why I made why I said that. Claude Shannon or Shannon, I don't know. The weak limit. This is a little analysis heavy. Uh, we have an algebraist here, Emil Artin, and his son, I believe, Mike Artin, was my PhD advisor's postdoc advisor and my postdoc advisor's PhD advisor. Uh, <laughs> and, it, and yeah, so Mike Artin is also quite famous, but 20th century Austrian algebraist Artin could have been either of them, I guess. Uh, Carly Kloss. Mm -hmm. Didn't know Opera Omnia. I didn't know Tabor, that's just uh, from crossword knowledge. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have um, a crossword that's sort of specific to your your expertise <laughs> in terms of knowledge. Etal. I didn't know that. I I know some French. I didn't actually know that Etal meant slack, uh, but I, you know, I I have heard the word Etal before in mathematical circles. So that's very cool. Very cool puzzle. Very nice. Uh, by many, he means ten by ten. So let's see if you can do better than 207. Then he also linked a second one, which I've, I've loaded in a second down for a cross page. By the way, these .puzz files, you could download a cross light, which is a very um, commonly used crossword solving software. I think I have it in one of my videos, but uh, I like down for a cross in that I think it looks better <laughs> on video. Anyway, so let's go into this one. Let's try to do this quickly, switch frames, whoops. And full screen. Okay, Quark has half this. Is it spin? They meet in this feet bottom soles. Uh, I don't know the chemist. Like some smartphone purchases. Uh, up the positive y axis in a way. Uh, okay, I, th I think it's spin. They meet in the center. Famous mathematical philosopher and pacifist. Put in one chip, perhaps anti. Keto is a fad one. Diet. It can be positive or negative. It can be positive or negative. Abbreviation. Uh, radii here, I think. Uh, I guess this is going to be ion, fundamental mathematical operation, union, yes or no, I think. The blank paradox, the sentence is false, the liar's paradox, right? Surgical tube is a stent, uh, I see integers can be positive or negative. Many mathematical properties hold vacuously true for this object, that's a nice clue for empty set. Mathematician Germain, who will use the synonym Monsieur Leblanc, Sophie Germain. Uh, this is Rousseau, I guess? Produced as some algebraic manipulations. Uh, ooh. I don't know. Is empty set wrong? Chosen groups, but not like that kind of group. The square matrix is invertible if and only if it has this. Uh, I don't know. Diameter is the longest possible one. Chord, I think. Prefix for chain or symmetric. Anti? Maybe. Serge Lang wrote algebra. Nice. Even in a way. The office actor. Uh, I'm not sure. 1 over sine, cosecant, her, golfers cry, 4, uh, mathematicians urge colleagues, creed, that's right, uh, what's wrong with the Y up there, ticked off, Indian chess player Sachdev, Tanya Sachdev, nice, from latex guy, type, dollar sign to enter math mode, this is tracked on the road, skids or slide, uh, as skids, yeah, it's gonna be full rank here. So Rousseau is wrong. Russell, Russell's paradox, Russell. Full rank. Yielded. Uh, chosen groups. Elites. Ticked off. Irate. There we go. 210 on the second one. Some interesting fills here. The cork has one half this. That's physics, really. Let's. Um, Union is a fundamental mathematical operation. Um, yeah. Maybe fundamental set operation? I don't know. <laughs> they meet in the center. Uh, yes or no. 
the liar paradox. Yeah. Let me just... Yeah, the liar paradox. I s or liar's paradox, which is what I said. Um, yeah, that's very cool. Stent. This is classic crossword ease. Uh, I mean, it's used often enough. I, I really like this... Uh, I like this clue for empty set, although there's a there's a typo here, vacuously. The A C U O U S L Y. Uh, I don't know if Professor Sullivan was asking me to to be his editor, but I found one thing to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, also this I think this is probably just not um, rendering correctly and down for a cross. Uh, maybe this should be quotes or or brackets or something. Not sure. Sophie Germain, yeah, very famous mathematician. I didn't, uh, I don't think I've ever seen her on a crossword before. Marie Sophie Germain, probably Germain, uh, mathematician, physicist, and philosopher. I think she did um, number theory type stuff, right? Yeah, number theory and e elasticity, apparently. I guess that's the physics kind of stuff. Cool. I like this, not like that kind of group. <laughs> so this is a this is saying that this is a math crossword. So if a mathematician sees, sees group, they think of a of a mathematical group. Uh, <laughs> I would say a set with a binary operation that's invertible and associative. But nowadays, I might say a category with one object. A groupoid with an object. <laughs> a groupoid with an object. Yeah. But the category with a single object where every morphism is invertible or something. Full rank. Yeah. The problem is that there's like a, a hundred different characterizations of a of an invertible matrix, right? I I do like this IFF. This is also kind of mathy. This means if and only if. Chord anti-chain or anti-symmetric. Although. Lots of things can go before chain. Well, at least co-chain. But before symmetric, there's not so many things you can put. Serge Lang, very famous algebra textbook. Uh, the t oh, I didn't even get to this one. The two ears theorem states that every simple polygon, polygon has at least two vertices that can be removed without introducing any crossings. Huh. I'm not familiar with this theorem. The two ears theorem. This seems like um, kind of stuff that Bennett would like. Simplex stuff. Wasn't familiar with that theorem. Learned something new there. Uh, cool. Feet bottoms. Levi Primo. Didn't know about him. In app. Yeah. Yeah, Russell. Russell. Bertrand Russell. Yielded, I see. Yeah, sure. I use that that phrase in papers. <laughs> Tanya Sachdev. That's uh, I follow a little bit of chess. I'm not I'm not good at chess, but mm, yep, yeah. she does a lot of commentating as well as playing chess. Anyway, very cool puzzles. Uh, if you like math and crosswords, this seems like a really nice intersection of the two. Uh, so, like I said, link there'll be a link to this. Twitter post in the description below, as well as a link to the book. Check it out. Uh, thank you for posting these puzzles, Professor Brendan. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.